Well, let's move on uh, to Kenneth and Brittany. So, what were y'all's thoughts? Any any outstanding comments on Kenneth and Brittany? Here's what I think. I, I don't like the game. I, this is, I feel like most of the me addressing Twitter. I hated the reactions to like the situation and people calling him gay. Everybody called this man gay. And I'm like, what? And it, it stemmed from there was somebody on Facebook, we don't know who, that posted a photo of him and was like, congrats to my cousin or something like that. And they're like, they're like, yeah, he's gay. In the comments of that, and everybody's taking that and, and like kind of like put that on him, and I'm like, what's what is like black dude, big black guy? So I relate to this man. I'm like, bro, I'm like, kid, like he he is what every woman is always like. We want a man that's emotionally intelligent, dude's like well spoken. He's a principal, loves kids. The one drawback is how much he's on his damn phone. But everything else, like I feel like women were like, this is the type of guy I want, but then. You know, everything plays out. And everybody calls him gay. I was like, that's crazy. So, anyways, what are y'all's thoughts on Kenneth and Brittany? Because they were, I don't know. I thought they'd make it. I I was disappointed because um, I really thought they were going to make it. Where I see the change was when AD talked to him. After AD talked to him and made him think about, okay, well, you know, this is the first white girl you've dated. You kind of have to think about your family. You have to think about your, like, if you're going to have kids with this girl, how is everything going to kind of mesh? And that got in his head. And I think after that, he completely checked out. What makes you think that? Because he had a, a thought of, well, dang, I've never been with a, a white girl before. I've only been with black girls. And yeah, so how how is my family dynamic going to be? How are my friends going to accept her? Is she going to be able to do my kid's hair? Because Because black hair is more difficult to work with. So I think he got all of that in his head and then was kind of like, this ain't gonna work. I disagree. So the reason why I say that is because post the honeymoon, like the man was on his phone. He, he talks about that in the, in the reunion, but it wasn't like, it wasn't as if he was the one that wasn't in the relationship. Like he, he was, but checked out because of being principal. But when Brittany came to him and said, she don't, she doesn't feel the crave. He said, I do. I do feel that. He's like, I feel that. If you don't feel that, that's on you. People call him gaslighter, which is crazy. I'm like, how did you gaslight her? He's telling her, we're that was a very emotional, like, good conversation. But he was telling her, he was like, I don't feel that. You feel that. So that's something that you need to deal with. Like, I, I, don't, like, I don't feel like he ever checked out. I just think that they started to show more of his, like, just passivity. Like, the guy is not this like big bulk dude he's just like a very chill guy in my opinion like the whole boat scene where the dude's just sitting there and it's quiet in my opinion it wasn't that he didn't want to talk to her the nigga just likes to just chill on a boat that's my thought you have to think of when that happened that happened after ad talked to him yes but how often did they show kenneth being himself before that the only time they really showed kenneth was in the room when they have the conversation and then when Kenneth brings a chair to her and is very attentive to her. Other than that, they don't really show Kenneth's personality until after the, that situation happens. And then you start to see him, in my opinion, just being himself. Yeah. That's my, that's my thought. I agree with you, Savon. I mean, I would say that it is, I was so proud to be two Christian people on this show trying to make it work. I was like, yes, finally someone that's like people who are coming into God and like, okay, no sex before marriage, stuff like that. And I feel like that's important to talk about because a lot of people, um, sorry, my mom is calling me. <laughs> as, so I'm like <laughs> trying to go back and forth, disconnecting to my my book. But anyway, a lot of people in the world are toxic and they're not healed, especially on Twitter. Y'all need to go to therapy all of y'all on Twitter, because <laughs> they say all the time about how they want a man who's attentive, who is intuitive, his emotions, treats her like a queen, whatever, whatever. And for me personally, a man who's willing to wait till marriage, like that is like awesome. Like, yes, the full package, right? 
and the whole gay allegations, I just feel like it's because people have a perce perception of how men should show up in the world and be how men should be masculine. And I find Kenneth really masculine. I'm like, I was, I was like, I would pick Kenneth in a heartbeat, a hundred percent. Like his personality, even the way he looks, like he's a really good looking guy. But the whole gay thing was just because he didn't show up how people expect a, a black man to show up. People like Clay, right? Clay's toxic, you know, <laughs> gaslighting people, doing all this crazy stuff, you know, really interested in the whole sex appeal stuff. Like people, people want that. And There's when, also now allegations against Clay being gay. There's a scene yeah. somebody posted on TikTok where he said he did like this hand movement and everybody was like, whoa. <laughs> but keep going. Keep I don't going. know why the media is so fascinated with making black men gay. That's a conversation for another day. They just want I'm to saying. Gay all the I'm just like, this is an agenda. We need to talk about it. But outside of that, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like for the whole personality thing, I don't think race was a problem at all. I don't think the conversation with AD affected his mood at all. I, I mean, that was a... I don't even think it was 80s place to bring it up at that time, at that place. Maybe it was right, but I just feel like um, it was the the conversation around race was not like that's what the experiment is for right like love is blind we don't really care about how you look all of that i mean it's important when you're two people from different races are coming together you need to have those conversations those are good conversations to have and i 100%. feel like huh i said 100 percent. i'm agreeing yeah, with you that's a good conversation to have like you can't just marry someone without having that conversation that's wild like um, but outside of that, I feel like he was really attracted to her and the way his, their personalities was just a disaster. Like they did not understand each other fundamentally. I feel like that's what happened because they were right for each other on paper, but the way he acts, the way he shows up, like he's such a chill guy, like just living life. Like that, I like those type of guys. I'm like, I like chill guys. It's just like, they don't have no problems. They just chilling. They don't argue with you doing crazy stuff. Like that's um i feel like with uh she wasn't used to that type of personality and she was in her head like oh does he really like me if you know he's not really talking he's just like enjoying the view like he's not focusing on me they could have had conversations about how their personality is to better understand each other but i don't think they did they just kind of gave up on that yeah but then on the boat that day they had a conversation of okay well you know i'm physical touch and he's like well i'm physical touch too yeah. but it never was really like kind of shown that he was physical touch i get it he's a chill dude i'm not saying that um he didn't like her because of her race but it just made him think a little bit that i've never been with someone of another race and i don't think ad came with it with some malice it was just some things to kind of think about of you know Think about how your future can be. Not saying it's not going to work, but you still need to have those conversations and think about those those things. And to me, it kind of seemed like he was a little bit uninterested because if you're physical touch, you're physical touch. Thanks. Yeah. You're you're not like oh, even even if you're chill, you're still wanting to hold someone's hand, touch someone. He wasn't doing any of that. He was very distant on himself. Yeah, and I feel like he's trying to respect their boundaries and especially their commitment to like being celibate before marriage and all of that. I feel like he was trying to respect that and he just didn't know how to go about that. They weren't, he wasn't comfortable with her yet 100%. That's what I feel like happened. But um, at the end of the day, the whole like in the kitchen conversation, apparently they already broke up and they just needed to film it for the camera and he was over it at that point that's why he was on his phone so much but yeah, yeah that i was like if i was that girl and i was pouring my feelings out to you and you're on your phone i was like bro we're about to fight because what like she was there crying and everything and he was just like he just walked upstairs he was like all right we done i was like you are you are a green flag don't make me tell you to a beige flag right now at that point they were painting him the villain yeah at, at yeah. that point because they're like kenneth was this was this good dude now he's like oh i don't really care about you all right i'm gonna be on my phone on my phone all right i'm out yeah yeah but they're was... so friends and i love that I, I mean they're so cute i wish they would have made it work like they just didn't understand each other but i guess they just weren't right for each other but i was like i love them so much i was rooting for them that's just still friends they talk every day like that's yeah. what, like they're they're like really good friends but I, I agree with what you're saying, um, that Kenneth, Kenneth 
definitely didn't like if you're physical like jazz you said this too if you're physical touch you're physical touch like i'm physical touch like you it's so i don't really think he he was like i understand like the boundary thing but i also understand where Brittany was coming from where she's like i even though we're not having sex till marriage he still wants to like have a crave Affection. hug me well not yeah. just that but she, she, her biggest thing was like she wanted to feel the crave to where she felt like she wanted to cross a line, but they had enough faith to not. They 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 were strong enough in their faith walk to not cross a line, but they had enough physical connection to where they had the crave too, if that makes sense. So I, I, I get what Brittany was talking about because if she's physical touch like I am or anybody is physical touch is their main love language, then yeah, you want to touch each other, hold hands, whatever. And it was hilarious. He was like, I came into the room to try to initiate. If it's three o'clock in the morning, we try to initiate touch. You know what I mean? Not like, good. like he, he he did this himself. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? But I just I don't know. I he's he's a he's a in my opinion, he's a good dude. It's just it was just crazy to see the reaction from the internet to Kenneth. Everybody paying him to be the villain because of his phone, and that was that was hilarious to me because boy was on his phone. Like I understand you're a principal, but bro, you were like on this phone all the time. So yeah, crazy. That was, that was fun. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they, I don't know. I think it was just like maybe them seeing each other and they hyped it up too much, or I don't know. Like, I, I thought there was more there. I I had hope for more there, but yeah, uh, that was one of the couples that went watching the honeymoon. I thought I thought there'd be two couples that made it. Johnny and Amy and Kenneth mm-hmm. and Brittany. Yeah, same. And, and they did like Jimmy and Jimmy and uh, Chelsea Fox. I felt like they could have made it. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know that that like Aiden Clay I didn't think would make it, and then I thought uh, would eventually. No, I didn't think it would. I just Clay was just too weird for me. Like he was, I was like, bro, this man is so airheaded. There's no way he makes it to the altar. Uh, yeah, I, I had I had hope for him. Yeah.